I wanted to show a couple of examples <clears throat> of using normal CDF on the calculator to calculate probabilities associated with the standard normal distribution. So here's an example. They give there's the standard normal graph. This z-score along the x-axis is 0.61. And they're asking, what's the area to the left of that z-score, 0.61? Uh, we can do that on the calculator. Whoops, let's clear, let's clear all that junk out. By going to the normal CDF distribution, second distributions. This one is not normal PDF, normal CDF. So we want to go to normal CDF. And see, my stat wizard is on. Now, the lower value, the area went all the way to the left, and it ended at 0.61. Let me just show that picture again. So notice the area goes all the way, in theory, that goes infinitely far down to the left in this direction, and it stops where Z is 0.61. So to get the area, we're going to take sort of like a negatively infinite number, which on the calculator, actually this one minus one times 10 to the minus nine, 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 that probably works. But I like to use to enter for this a negative. Now be careful, use this negative down here, negative nine, 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 nine. The upper value is 0.61. That was where that Z value was. For the standard normal, the mean mu is zero and the standard deviation sigma is 1. So you can keep those. And when I hit paste, this is what you could enter if your stat wizard were off. And when I hit enter, the calculation comes up about 0.729 to three decimal places. Let's see if the homework likes that number. 0 0.729, 0 0.729, check answer. Excellent. Okay, let's see what the next question is. Uh, this one is an inv-norm question. We're going to skip that one and go to the next one. We'll come back to that. Okay, so here. So the mean is zero, standard deviation one, so it's a standard normal. The probability 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 2.25. So the picture that represents that here is B. So the shaded area is between 1.5 and 2.25. So that answer is B. And then it's going to ask me, let's see, it must ask me for the probability also somewhere. Uh, let's see, choose the correct graph. Okay, that was the correct graph. And then, oh, and here's the probability here. So between 1.5 and 2.25, again, I'm going to go to the calculator. I'm going to go to normal CDF, second distributions. Normal CDF is the second thing there. And this time, the lower and upper values, let me just look at that again to double check. It's between 1.5 and 2.25. So the lower one is 1.5, the upper one is 2.25. For a standard normal, the mean and standard deviations are 0 and 1. Leave those. When I hit paste and enter, comes out about 0.055 to three decimal places. How many decimal places did they want? Let's see. Four decimal places, okay, four decimal places, 0 0.0546, 0546, 0546, 0546, 0546, 0546, 0.0546, check answer. Nice work, okay, good, let's see. Uh, let's see, uh, what does this one say? Oh, okay, let's do this one. So between negative 2.11 and negative 1.52. So that looks like it's this area here, B, between negative 2.1, negative 1.52. 1, so it's B. Fantastic. Okay. 
And then it wants the probability. Well, I'm going to go back to the normal CDF thing on the calculator. What were the numbers again? I have to go back and look. The numbers were negative. I'm going to write them down. Negative 2.11, uh, negative 2.11, and negative 1.52. So this time on the calculator, I have the stat wizard. I just want to show you what it'll look like if the stat wizard is off, which is my preference. So there's mode. I'm arrowing down to the stat wizard. And there it's on. I'm going to switch it to off. Enter. So now it's off. Second quit to get out of there. And now I'm going to enter the normal CDF. It's not going to give me that little menu. It's going to think I know what to enter. So I'm going to normal CDF. And this time I wrote down those numbers. So it's a negative 2.11. When you're entering a negative here, be sure to use this negative symbol on the bottom, not the subtraction sign there. Negative 2.11. One, one, comma. The upper x value there is negative 1.52, comma. And for the standard normal, the mean and standard deviation are zero for the mean, comma, one for the standard deviation. And when I hit enter, 0.0468. 0468, 0468, 0468, 0468, 0468, 0.0468, 0.0468, and when I check the answer, fantastic! Okay.